Welcome to My Chefin. My name is Chef Fran, and today we are making something that's fall related. You know, we have pumpkin in the fall, but we are doing apples. Apples, you know, it's apple picking time, and you know, it's holiday as well, so you have apple pie and all this. So we're gonna do a apple caramel smoothie bowl. You heard me, apple caramel smoothie bowl. So let's get into what all the great stuff we have. So we're gonna go over our, all of our wonderful nutritious ingredients first. So you can't have an apple caramel smoothie bowl without some beautiful Granny Smith apples and some Gala apples. So you get a little bit of the tart and a little bit of the sweetness, right? And you can't have it without caramel. But to make our smoothie bowl, we've gotta have a touch of vanilla and of course, cinnamon and some apple pie spice. Mmm, so delicious. And we gotta have our vanilla, because since there's no apple yogurt, some vanilla Greek yogurt. And we have some applesauce and a little bit of brown sugar. Makes everything nice. And we gotta get our nutritious oatmeal in here. So our oatmeal will help us to thicken our smoothie bowl up. And also, it gives you that extra dose of fiber that women need and men need a day. And with our apple pie, because that's what it's gonna taste like, an apple pie, a smoothie bowl apple pie. I'm leaving the skins on, so that also gives you that extra dose of fiber. And we have our apple juice, of course, as our little liquid. And our garnishments are some cinnamon sticks and some apple butter and some almonds and some granola and some more apples. And um, that's about it. Oh, let me see what else goodness we have here. We have a special treat of collagen. And collagen is really good for your joints. It helps towards inflammation, but it's also known as your beauty secret. So it helps give you beautiful skin, long hair, and beautiful nails, strong nails. So we're gonna put a scoop of collagen in our smoothie bowl as well. And we're gonna get do our vitamin content next. Ah, one last thing. I have another healthy treat here for us called a Trilogy, which is a mix of flax seeds, which also is great, loaded with fiber for you, and omega-3 fatty acids, and we have chai seeds, and I know all of you know chai, some of you call it chi, chia, so I call it chai, you call it chia, and it also has hemp hearts, so delicious, delicious. So let's get into our vitamin content. We have our apples, which is a combination of Granny Smith and Gala, and has vitamins B6, C, and riboflavin. Our oatmeal has vitamins B1, manganese, biotin, and it's high in fiber. Cinnamon has vitamins A and iron. Apple spice has vitamins B2, iron, B1, and B3. Brown sugar has calcium, copper, iron, and potassium. Our vanilla Greek yogurt has B6, B12, calcium, magnesium, potassium, riboflavin. Our vanilla extract has B1, B2, B3, B5, B6. Our apple juice has vitamin C, calcium, potassium, and magnesium. Our cinnamon applesauce has vitamins A, B6, C, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. Our collagen has vitamin C, biotin, zinc, and it has amino acid. And our garnish of cinnamon stick is, of course, the same vitamins as cinnamon itself, A and iron. And our apple butter has B6, C, and magnesium. Our almonds has vitamins E, calcium, fiber, magnesium, river fiber, and it's unsaturated fat, and it's high in protein. Our caramel sauce has vitamins A, B2, B5. Our granola has copper, iron, magnesium, and zinc. 
And our trilogy mix, which consists of chai, or chi, however you say it, flaxseed, and hemp hearts. And the chai is copper iron, magnesium, manganese, omega-3 fatty acids, phosphorus and psyllium. Flaxseed is B6, copper, magnesium, manganese, and again, omega-3 fatty acids and phosphorus. And hemp hearts has vitamins E, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, and zinc. No facts. The South has the highest rate of food insecurity in the United States at 12.3%. The following in the South are in order from Midwest, West, and Northeast. You can learn more by visiting us at jdhcdc.org. So we're going to start off with adding our Greek yogurt. We froze this so we can have it nice and creamy. We'll do a half. Okay. And we are going to put, and we're going to pour a splash of apple juice. cinnamon in me here before we put our collagen. Oh, brown sugar. Get that brown sugar going. Put a little dose extra because we have some already in our apple spice and we're gonna do one scoop of collagen Splash of apple juice. I don't put too much. Okay. There we go. This smells so good. Okay. And now so we're gonna get ready to make our smoothie bowl. My blender actually has a smoothie button and it's about 30 seconds. And so let's find out what our apple caramel smoothie bowl looks like. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Yes, look at that, it's so nice and thick. So, okay, so here's our smoothie bowl. Let's get our green apples here. We're gonna do little pieces right here in the middle of this. Our wonderful texture. And then we're gonna do slices on the other ones. Wonderful texture of apples. Yay! Mm. Okay. And some nuts on these. And okay. try to have your little cinnamon stick in there. Two little cinnamon sticks here. And over here, let's get our slices going. Just take your apple butter here. Get my apple butter. And just if you have gloves only, guys. Get a little apple butter. Get a nice darker look to your light base of your apple caramel smoothie bowl. Now let's get your caramel sauce here. Okay, so we put our caramel. Oh, look at that. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. So that's our first bowl. Then we're going to show you our second bowl. A dollop of apple butter here. I never have too much apples going on because the apple day helps keep the doctor away. And it adds to your fiber count. Did you know that men should consume 30 to 38 grams of fiber a day? Hmm. Food for thought, huh? Okay, and um, let me get our trilogy mix here. Shake that up. <clears throat> Keep us healthy. Okay, I'm not sure what's kind of going on here, but we're gonna resolve this. We're just gonna go right in. And for women, you should consume 21 to 25 grams of fiber a day in order for us to remain healthy and well. And to avoid seeing these doctors, don't get me wrong, we love you doctors, but we don't wanna be sick seeing you. All right, and let me see, what else should we add some more? granola over here. I'm just kind of doing light and dark granola just to add a little color here.
And again, the great thing about cooking and creating things, you can make this however you want. If you want to make, if you want to add granola, not add granola, if you have one kind of granola instead that you prefer to each his own, it's all right. Okay, there we go. And now our, the goody part, right? The goody part, the fun part. These apples that are Granny Smith that are not as sweet. Okay, on a bowl. Gotta decorate the bowl a little bit too. Okay. <clears throat> and we have our cinnamon sticks. So here is our smoothie bowls. I want to show you, I can't even contain myself, I'm so excited. I am a first time author. I have my new book out called A Twist on Boring Salads, A Salad a Day, 30 Days a Month. Look at this, all of these salads are in full color. No black and white pictures, so you can see the full on version of what you're gonna be making. So you can get yourself a copy on amazon.com. Who doesn't love Amazon? So go to amazon.com. Well, let's taste our smoothie bowl here. Hold on, let me get up here. Get the apples. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So good. If you love apple pie, or you love anything apple, and you love caramel, this is for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. That almond butter, with the crunch of the almonds and the crunch of the apples, and it's not overly sweet, is everything. Let's do this. Let's have my granola here. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. So, the textures, the way they married, is everything. So, so, so good. Like I said, if you're into sweet spices, the cinnamon, the cloves, that's from the apple pie spice. Has some cloves in it, some cinnamon. That sweetness from just spice alone and the smell, it's everything. So, here's our call to action. Don't forget to click the like button by giving us a virtual hug. When you do that, that lets myself and my team know that you're enjoying what we're putting out for you and allow us to go back to Thinking Lab to say, hmm, what could we do more for you? We really do appreciate you hanging out with us, spending your time with us. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. We really would appreciate it. And to share this channel with your family and friends, they'll appreciate it. And if you're new to this channel, we tell you welcome. 
for we welcome you here with open arms and great big hugs. We thank you again for hanging out with us today and eating with us virtually while we ate physically. This apple caramel smoothie roll, but you too, you saw how simple it was. It's probably some ingredients you have at home already. Maybe some yogurt and some applesauce if you have children and some apples since it is, you know, apple season. You might even have some granola and some cinnamon sticks. You probably have them too if you're making some apple cider. Try this. You will not regret it. You will love it. And more than likely, you probably have some brown sugar too. Probably the only thing you may not have at home is your caramel sauce and some trilogy mix. But everything else you probably have. So you can give this a try. Oatmeal, I'm sure you probably have at home. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to you to come back, hanging out with me again. Comment below if you did try this out and or if you added something different. We'd love to know because we do answer the comments. Thank you so much again. Love you guys. Bye.